And welcome to another video today. I have for you guys the Cell 3 Cauterizer featured in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So, without further ado, let's check out this awesome creation the Cell 3, a 16 rounded triple barreled shotgun featured in the new Exo Zombies game mode in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This thing is a very, very good weapon that you get from the 3D printer for a thousand credits and it has an extremely high output of damage um... so yeah here it is out of lego bricks it is able to get one shot kills all the way up to round twenty and it's just a really good gun now the lego version as you can see isn't all that good the barrel is really unsteady, so I'm actually going to put it down and show you guys the sections and parts, because they're going to break. So here is, like, you know, the grip, stock, and other stuff. You've got the little side flaps. They don't close all the way. However, eh, you don't really need them to close all the way, because in first person, it looks good. The sights, I'll show you in a moment. The kind of pointy back... The grip, which is, it's really unsturdy, just like the rest of the gun, but it's sturdy enough to hold just like this. Working trigger as usual, and the extendable mags, er, stock. Now, I couldn't get the brake action for this gun, and the, you just heard the barrel break, but I couldn't get the brake action. It was just way too hard, especially with how sturdy the barrel was, which is not very sturdy, and I just couldn't do it. Unfortunately, but this is better than nothing, I guess, because I really like how this part turned out. It's relatively close to the gun. You know, you've got the diagonal black patterns, except it doesn't have the Atlas symbol on it. But overall, I'm really happy with this. So, this is the bane of my existence. The stupid barrel that took me hours and hours to build. Just, just this thing. Now, it's relatively sturdy by itself, however, when it attaches to the main body or whatever of the gun, it just flops, just completely breaks, and it doesn't stay properly, and it doesn't, yeah, it's just bad. The only, the reason is because this is the only thing attaching it to the gun. Yay. So it's really wobbly, it just breaks very often, but overall, I, don't, I was really proud of myself for making this shape. I mean, look at it. It's pretty hard. And I'm going to see if I could just kind of, you know, peel it open to show you the innards. Alright, this is the best I could do. But as you can see, it's very colorful inside. Um, There's six pieces that fit together with these hinge bricks. And it creates a triangular kind of shape. It was hard to design, but it works. And, well... Uh... It's still a bit wobbly, but oh well. I'm going to try to give you guys a look down the iron sights. Uh, I'm trying to hold it together as best as I can. It's really unsturdy, but I guess I'll have to do this sideways. Uh, but yeah, here they are. They're not too good. The ring in the back is just kind of a 2x2 two two dish piece in the front. Eh, but I guess I'm kind of happy with the, how the sights turned out. Can't say this is my best gun made. But, that's basically it. Uh, overall, this really didn't turn out that well. It's definitely not my best gun. However, I really want to build it for Ruben G, who suggested this gun. It looks visually pleasing, I guess, but the barrel's just so bad, and yeah, that's basically so I want to... Thank you guys for watching, and screw this, I'll see you guys next time.